for making our sentence more beautiful. If you are not using it, will be there be any problem? For example, I'm saying uh, Raju wanted to have a pizza. Raju wanted to order it from uh, somewhere, but Raju's mother didn't want it to be ordered, and Raju's mother prepared it for himself. Here, Raju is repeating more times. So, problem there. It's fine. I'm happy with the name Raju. Raju is using again and again. So, I have, I have time. I prefer it. I will use it. No problem. I love to eat Raju 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 all the time. So what is the problem in that? It's a uh, listening boring. It doesn't sound good. Yes. Our conversation is not going smooth. So in place of using the noun Raju 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 all the time, we have to go for what? Okay. 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 For the word pronoun. Now, what is the pronoun? Pronoun is a word that stands in place of a noun. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, how to remember this one? Uh, I think all of the graduates. So, as you can see, that when in our college, sometimes uh, management says that, you know, we are pro student. What is the meaning of that word pro? We um, are both. We are pro student. What what college are you going to join? No sir. I am not going to join, but uh, is there any situation like that? The election is going to be. Huh huh. The college election is going to be. College election is going to be. After both discussion, what are we? And same time, management dialogue. Uh, we are two students, so we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so we are two students. Means what? Experience. Uh huh. Highly experienced. Now, how to take that? Okay. College day, kimbha school day. Me tell you. Now, uh, when when we are using this word uh, pro, I mean school or college, we have a proxy to our figure. We have a more friends are full time to our proxy. Sir, no sir. So what is that proxy? A pro to whom we use it? Proxy means um, the the person is not here to. Be... Um, so that the person is uh, present at that time. Yes. So what we are doing here, instead of that person presence, we are putting up the proxy. Okay. okay. The same thing is here. Pro means it's a short form of the proxy. We are putting up the proxy of the word. So in place of the noun, we are using pronoun. So that is proxy for the noun. Yes, sir. Okay. So pro means here in favor of. Pro means in favor of. So anything that wherever we will go, that I am pro student. Pro student means I'm in favor of the student. I'm pro this topic. Pro means I'm in favor of this topic. Pro okay. noun. How to remember this one? Pro noun means some word that is used in favor of the noun is called as pronoun. Pronoun. Okay. Now, uh, types of pronouns you have understood. This is very basic. Types of pronouns. Anyone? Types of pronouns. There are seven types of pronouns, sir. Very good. What are they? Uh, so personal pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, uh, interrogative pronoun, relative pronoun, indefinite pronoun, reflexive, and uh, intensive pronoun. Intensive. What is that? So. Uh, 
so that uh, are like uh, myself yourself himself herself like this that is intensive or mm -hmm. uh, reflexive reflexive okay yourself myself himself this can be used in two ways it can be used as reflexive pronoun as well as it can be used as emphatic pronoun okay now there are eight types of pronouns as you said pronouns uh, first pronoun is personal pronoun yes, can sir. anyone give me the example of personal pronouns uh, so uh, i me she her he etc okay now personal pronouns are again divided into three categories okay personal pronoun means it is used for the person yes sir how many persons we have in english sir uh, three, three persons third three first person second person second person third person first person is i and we second is you you yes sir is he see how much eat Okay. okay. Now, so in case of personal pronoun, as it is divided into three categories: first person, second person, third person. Are the personal. Now, personal pronoun three categories: it is subjective, objective, objective. and possessive. Possessive. Okay. Now, give me the examples of subjective pronouns. Everything you know. I we. I uh, you they he see it. Okay, these are my personal pronoun. Uh, subjective. Subjective. Pronoun. Make it objective. Me, you, us, him, why, her. Why? Why these are called objective pronouns? Uh, because it uh, it is the answer of what and whom. It is the answer of what and whom in the sentence. Means it represents an object in the sentence. Okay, subjective pronouns represent the subject in the sentence. Objective pronouns they represent the object in the sentence. Okay, now the possessive pronouns. My, your, our, ours, hers. So. There. Why we use this as possessive pronouns? Because they indicate the position of the subject. Yes. They indicate the position. Position means, this is my book. This book is mine. Okay. So when I'm using it, this is my book. My is used my adjective one. Okay. Adjective for the noun. Book. Book is the noun. Okay. My book. My is now classifying which book is this. So this is becoming an adjective pronoun. So there are three ways of personal pronouns: subjective, objective, objective. and possessive. Possessive. Clear? Clear? Sir. Am I getable to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So now, if you are clear, then I forget everything. This is how I am. If you guys understand, then I am good. I have a doubt. I got a question, and I know that you people also speak like this. We are going with the spoken English one. So, please listen it carefully. He is taller than me. He is taller than me. Is the sentence correct or wrong? He is taller than me. Correct. 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 Right now, we can use this Then, he is taller than me. We are repeatedly using this one in our daily language. 
हेलो This is why I don't prefer grammar. So, honest to tell me, is it really necessary to learn grammar if I want to speak correct? Yes, ma'am. Is it really necessary that uh, I should learn grammar if I want to speak uh, fluent English? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the sentence is not correct, as I said. It's taller than me. It's not correct one. It's a wrong sign. Taller than I. Mm hmm. Taller than I. Now reason sir, why? It's the taller than me. It's the right sentence. Now somebody said that he's taller than I. No sir, he is the taller than me. He is taller than me. Sure. Sure yes, yes, sir. Yes. I'm saying this is wrong. ना चैलेंज में सर तन करेक्ट है कौन मैं तो क्या चाहूं बोल सर सर जल्दी सेंटेंस टा रॉन्ग ताले कोटा कोठी रे हम सही रे भी कोन तो तो तुम कहे भी मैं कहूंगा मैं कह ले कि प्रोनाउन पर्सनल प्रोनाउन को हमें तीन भाग कर दो नाउ एनालाइज द सेंटेंस बेस्ड ऑन दिस थ्री सब्जेक्टिव ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड पॉजिटिव Now let's go with the first one. He. He is in which case? The pronoun. Are you? Which pronoun? The subject personal pronoun. Sub personal pronoun. Uh huh. I understand. He is a personal pronoun. And uh, in place of this personal pronoun, which part? The subjective. 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 Is there any other pronoun in the sentence? Yes, sir. Me. उनिंग One is in subjective, one is in objective. How we are comparing? Can can you compare that uh, pineapple with the pineapple juice? Can you compare the pineapple with the pineapple juice? Pineapple. That's the difference between strawberry. Getting my point. We have to compare between similar things. So if I'm using the subject, I have to use another subject to whom I can compare. Getting my point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so what we will be using the correct one will be he is taller than I am. He is taller than I am is the correct one. But do we use in our speech like this? Do we use? No, sir. That is the problem. Getting my point? Yes. Spoken English is all about broken English. So as much as focus we are giving to grammar, we will be quite not sure of using the fluent. Sometimes we have to uh, withhold ourselves. Am I speaking wrong English? Am I going with the wrong grammar? So for spoken English, we may not use this English grammar, but for a correct speaking English, we need this grammar. Now, getting my point, why we are using this grammar parts? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. 
now clear about this personal pronoun all of you yes sir yes sir yes sir sure yes sir yes sir forgetting it right now i am forgetting it now the okay. next next sentence you have to clear my doubts the next sentence you have to clear my doubts okay next sentence is if i were him if if i were him if i were him i would not misbehave like this i would not misbehave like this if i were him i would not misbehave like this sentence correct or wrong now it sounds that you have not understood how many pronouns we are having here if i were him i would not misbehave like this the subjective and the objective such a subjective objective both are there okay so the sentence is correct or wrong if i were him i would not misbehave like this itna time chale rahe bhai have a guess it may be wrong doesn't matter Wrong. Wrong. Now give me the correct one then. Sir, if I were uh, he, uh, I would not be behaved like this. He. Very good one. Who is it, Julie? Yes, sir. Okay, Julie. Very good. Now, give me the reason why you uh, choose he. Uh, sir, he is an objective pronoun. He is an objective pronoun. Okay. So. so him the correct one we have answered the correct one give me the reason i don't want anyone to go blindly ki aisa hi to hota hai aisa kuch nahi hota hai go by the reason kyun because what we are doing we are comparing again if i were him so i'm comparing i with him i is subjective him is objective can i compare can i compare yes can i compare with a sub, uh, subject with a uh, with an object yes sir yes sir are good subject to object saying i can compare kar pari na amko sobal dita saman saman tin sab kar jo example del na ki dhari me mote jodi ambo ko mote sapuri sanger compare kar pari but mote ambo ko sapuri juice sanger compare kar pari no sir the same thing is like this if i'm using i that is in subjective case then i have to go for this he that should be also in the subjective case so if i were him, i would not do it i would not misbehave like this getting it yes sir clear the personal pronoun part is not off no doubt in this one i can take it sir i would example this personal pronoun okay if i say that <clears throat> uh, uh kolkata the, the sorry the film city of hyderabad is better than mumbai the film city of hyderabad is better than mumbai
करेक्ट और रॉन्ग द फिल्म सिटी ऑफ हैदराबाद इज बेटर देन मुंबई सब करेक्ट करेक्ट है सर कौन दी थेटिंग this is a wrong statement mm. grammatically this is not good what what i'm talking about i'm talking about the film city of hyderabad am i talking about hyderabad yes mo hyderabad bhi sir kotha hochi ki film city of hyderabad film city sir kotha hochi the film city of hyderabad is better than mumbai how can i do that mo mumbai sang to can compare kar de Hyderabad or film city, Mumbai or film city, what is better? Getting my point? Getting my point? Sir. Okay. So what we are using here, the film city should be compared with the film city. I cannot compare the film city with Mumbai. So answer should be the film city of Mumbai, Hyderabad, is better than that of Mumbai. Getting it clear? The city yes, of Hyderabad is better than that of Mumbai. So that is representing what? It is that type of representation. Film city. Film city. Film city. Am I getting it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So what type of pronoun is that? We are using the pronoun this, that, this, those. What type of pronoun are these? Mm-hmm. A demonstrative. Very good. These are called nature demonstrative pronouns. Okay. What What is the uh, meaning of this word demonstration? Demonstration means. Explain about. Point out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One at a time. Describe them. Describe the it is things practically. If it is to describe, then I should have used the word description, descriptive pronoun. If I am using the word demonstrative pronoun, I am not showing and then explain about this. Yes, I am sure that you people might have gone to your practical college. Practicals. There are demonstrators yes. who demonstrate yes. us how to do the practical. So what they are doing, they are showing us. Similarly, this, that, these, those, these are called as demonstrative pronouns, which indicate about the position or the position. कहाँ पे हैं या फिर किसके हैं? Okay, that is why these are called as your demonstrative pronouns. Okay, now let's come to the confusing one. Reflective pronoun. And reflexive pronoun. A reflective pronoun versus reflective, uh, reflective pronoun versus emphatic pronoun. Okay. Examples of reflexive pronoun. Myself, yourself, itself, itself, okay. So reflexive pronoun is myself. So subject, a subject pronoun will be. Myself का पहले use करते हैं। For whom we are using I, myself? The subject. I. I. Yes. Okay. Himself. Sir him. Yourself. Uh, your. Now. Sorry, sir. सर 
नमस्कार को से दिन डाउट पढ़ी गला मु भी भूली गली तमरो डाउट छि पचर रे आई डिड दिस वर्क माय सेल्फ आर यू पासिंग द एक्शन ऑन योर सेल्फ द प्रीवियस सेंटेंस आई सेड आई हर्ट माय सेल्फ ओके सो हर्टिंग इज द एक्शन दैट आई डिड टू मी I hurt myself, so that goes with my reflexive pronoun. But what about this one? I did this work myself. What am I doing here? If I'm translating this one back to my Odia, it comes as "mu nijje ek kamata koli." That is, mu simply koi bhi mu kamata koli. Why? That is, mu nijje word extra lagya phone doctor. Sir, ita adhiko word to describe puru ji. Na ya kani bula point. Adhika ame guru tuwa doche. कहा को गुरुत्व दो छे निज्जो को निज्जो ओके व्हाट यू आर डूइंग हियर यू आर गिविंग एम्फसिस ऑन द सब्जेक्ट गेटिंग माय पॉइंट यू आर गिविंग एम्फसिस ऑन द सब्जेक्ट सो व्हेन यू आर गिविंग एम्फसिस ऑन द सब्जेक्ट दैट बिकम्स योर एम्फेटिक प्रोनाउन क्लियर अबाउट दिस टू प्रोनाउन्स एम्फेटिक प्रोनाउन एंड रिफ्लेक्सिव प्रोनाउन दो दे साउंड सेम बट टू इज डिफरेंट okay emphatic pronoun reflexive pronoun both yeah. are same as the sound myself yourself themselves himself whatever but use is different clear sir dil ta pronoun koile na kon ta out ta dikhe repeat karo na okay myself yourself himself themselves self these are your reflexive as well as emphatic pronoun though they sound same but according to their use they are called as reflexive or emphatic pronoun clear or the doubt which you go kon chu kai bol kon sir सर क्वेश्चन पचार क्लीयर हूँ he and you did this work himself he and you did this work himself he he and you did this work साउंड आसुने आप म्यूट साउंड सर 
म्यूट है नहीं तो सर 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 भी ना ना सर आप कहते बट कि सर कि बोधे सर भिडा शो कर दीदी देखा बट ना 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 वीडियो सर 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 साइड 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 रे 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 फ्रंट पेज म्यूट सर रिकनेक्ट एक्चुअली आउथे रिकनेक्ट कर सर किसी प्रॉब्लम है इसे सारे रिकनेक्ट कर दिए उनको कौन है तू नहीं साल का वीडियो भी स्टॉप ही जाए जब नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम है सर की चीज़